Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Galloper Major and welcome to our Wells Weekly, our weekly wrap of the game and basically what's come in the week previous and what we are expecting to come in the week coming up. Now obviously we've come to the end end of the last patch and we've uh, now entered the new one so one campaign is gone and another has entered. So we are now moved on to the next part so what if you want to catch up on that kind of stuff you probably even want to go and see our patch notes video or our first look video so um, what else do we have well we've had the weekly boost reset as predicted in our Brucey bonus video however we've also had it reset again basically there was an issue with the Halloween camos on the Albany and some Japanese destroyer which meant that people couldn't go into games and they'd end up getting locked in the menu. Well, now they reset that. Um, well, basically they, they run a patch, there's a patch coming out today when this video comes out. And um, as part of that patch, it's gonna fix that. However, they've also run into another issue where people get locked into versus AI games which is quite interesting. So what we're finding is they reset the weekly boost on Tuesday, uh, which meant that if you completed it Sunday, reset on Monday, and then if you complete it on Monday, then reset on Tuesday, so you can complete it again. Um, now, because of that, will there be another weekly boost reset? It's hard to tell. At the moment, they're not giving anything away. But we know there's a patch drop in. The last time they tried to do a quick fix, they have to reset the boost. So it could be something just to keep your eyes out on. Now, trying to avoid repeating ourselves of what we've covered, um, there's two premium ships that we haven't covered. Um, so obviously there's the Poltava or something like that, which is out this week. Now, they've given away that with the Gallant, the reason why they didn't release the Gallant was simply because they didn't want to oversaturate the store with new premium ships. I think during that patch they're releasing like a new ship every week. I think what they found was maybe the uptake wasn't that good on them, or maybe something else along those lines. So what they've done, uh, so they postponed the Gallant, and now this patch they've only announced three premium ships, the Poltavar, the Exeter at tier 5 and the Z39 at tier 6. Now this is a five week patch and there's three ships and going off of what happened in the last patch, I want to hazard a guess and say that um, we've got the Poltavar this week, then we'll have a week off and then we'll have something else and then we'll have a week off and then we'll have something else. And judging by also how they've done it, I suspect we won't get Exeter until the last week. That's my guess. Um, there's, there's just been this kind of habit where they don't release the British until the last week. So if I had to hazard a guess, I'm going to say the Exeter is going to come in the last week of this patch. And then the Z39 is going to come not next week, but the week after. That's my guess. Now, what else have we had? Oh, Warhammer 40k uh, skins are coming to the game. This has literally just been announced for World of Warships Legends and World of Warships PC. Um, so that's quite an interesting thing added. Now, myself, I have done Warhammer 40k in the past. Um, I mean, I'm, uh, I've done it from when I was quite young and I've even dabbled in it quite recently. Um, I mean, to show how far back I go, I used to do Space Marines and Imperial Guard. Um, <laughs> and now it's Astra Militarum and Astartes. So it's, things have moved on since I started, um, but I've dabbled on a bit of uh, both sides. Purge the Heretic and uh, Exterminate the Xenos uh, for the Emperor. Or Blood for the Blood God corn for the cornflakes so yeah that's that's definitely something that intrigues me um i mean i wasn't really a big fan when the zero lane came out but then with warhammer 40k that does intrigue me um so maybe this may not might not be everyone's cup of tea um maybe they preferred the zero lane i don't know <laughs> 
I'll let you call, I'll let you pick and choose on what you want. But I suspect what they, if they're permanent camos, then I suspect they'll introduce a menu where we can turn them on and off. Um, now being, I kind of like a bit of realism, or at least semi-realism in this game, I might be tempted to turn it off. Um, unless, uh, I guess the only other alternative it might be is it might be like, maybe like some new camouflages given away out of crates and stuff like that, that we could like, that we can spend on ships. So like a one, one use camo, but like, like the Imperial camo or the Halloween camo and stuff. So there's definitely, it'd be intriguing to see which ones they do there. Um, I don't think they've really announced which ones it is. Um, all we know is basically they've announced that they've done a collaboration with um, Games Workshop. And then from the PC version, we have seen some skins teased. Um, now they're, but the things that the skins have been teased, there's been a Chaos one and an Imperial one. They've both been teased on the Amagi. Um, they'll be in the both been teased on the same, sh on the same ship. It makes me skeptical that they're like Pacific camos for Pacific ships, but we'll have to wait and see. But um, according to that, we should, have more news uh, in the next update of World Warships Legends. So basically after this patch, when we go into the next patch, there's going to be some form of collaboration with Games Workshop in regards to Warhammer 40k, which is, wow, I'm looking forward to it. Now all that's left in the enemy team is a squad and that, oh, the bouquet, I really thought that was the uh, Ismail then. Well, you can have a load of AP. Well. I think that sums up about what's happening with World of Warships. Um, I mean, most of the stuff that's happened last week, we've kind of already covered off in our um, first look and patch notes. And the stuff coming up is all a bit of speculation and what they've released on their uh, social media. Now, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I'm the Gavin Major, and back to the port.